On the timeline, an animated camera is represented by a stripe with two keyframes. Changing these keyframes will change the start or the end moment of the action and will also affect the camera speed. What if we want to stop the camera for only a few seconds along its path? We can easily do so with the help of keyframes. First, we'll need to grab a certain moment in time by recording a new keyframe for it. To create one, first we have to select the right moment on the timeline by dragging the playhead over it and activating the recording mode. A right click on the playhead will open a contextual menu with the appropriate option. This new keyframe allows us to edit the camera movement in time. By moving it on the timeline, we are constraining the camera to reach earlier or later a certain position in space. In other words, we are operating the camera speed. With the current placement of the keyframe, the camera will move faster at the beginning until it reaches the selected position and afterwards it will slow down. Keyframes are very flexible. They can be duplicated, deleted, or moved. To stop the camera, I'll duplicate the same keyframe on the timeline and drag a copy of it while holding down the Alt key on my keyboard. Having an identical copy of the same keyframe will force the camera to stay still in the same position appointed by the two keyframes. Keyframes are very easy to edit. In this example, the door opens and we want to close it by the end of the sequence. We'll work only with the keyframes again. First, we select the right object, an action from these lists, to make the corresponding keyframes appear. We decide that the door should reach the widest opening by the middle of the sequence, so the keyframe pointing to this position should be moved accordingly. To make the door close, we'll simply create a copy of the keyframe of the closed door. Hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and drag a copy of it into the last moment of the sequence. Between keyframes, Artlantis interpolates the values. All you need to do is to define the key moments of your actions and let Artlantis do the rest, like here in our example with the door. You can also add animated textures to your scenes. If you wish to have moving images on the television screen during this sequence, you simply map such a texture on it. The only accepted format is Move. You'll need to adjust the size, brightness, or any other parameter you usually set for textures in the Shader Inspector or directly in the Preview window. Once done, the Move texture is added to the list of animated items and it appears in the timeline or in the hierarchical timeline. We can use only a part of the animation from the texture by changing its length on the timeline or we can also loop it by turning on this function and entering the number of repetitions. The result can already be reviewed in the preview and it will automatically become part of the final animation.